Flavors. You love them, you lick them. Some people say we have too many flavors. Those people are wrong. Here, we're always looking for new flavors and we're not afraid to go to dark places. So welcome to What That Flavor, Oreo edition. Little girls have pretty curls, but I like Oreo. Girls are nice, but boy, what icing comes with Oreo, Oreo. Oreos, that little chocolate cookie that is definitely a ripoff of Hydrox. Hydrox, some kids have trouble remembering my name. I don't understand why. I mean, you like a creamy center? Here's a creamy center. Thick, delicious, creamy, creamy. And you like a dark, crunchy chocolate cookie? Well, here it is. But you gotta remember my name, Hydrox. Hydrox, don't forget, Hydrox. But that's what you get for naming your cookie Hydrox, you freaks. So when it comes to Oreos that are already a sweet little cookie, we're not gonna be adding any sweets or sugary stuff because obviously, oh, adding sugar to your sugar made the sugar better? Really, you dumb? Here, we're looking for bold new flavors for the average man, like Japanese mayo. I am a big fan of Japanese mayo. I don't even touch that white stuff. I mean, throw an egg or some mustard seed in it. Do something, make it yellow. And my thought here is that I love Japanese mayo so much that it'll do a sweet, savory type balance here. So let's see. Our first decision, do we go with inside or just, you know what? We're just gonna do a nice little thick dollop. Yeah, just right on the top of that. Nice and beautiful. That might be too much. <laughs> <laughs> but here we go. Japanese mayo. Hmm. It's not good. <laughs> it's not terrible. You really get you really get the mustard flavor. Oddly enough, it tasted like an Oreo with mustard on it. This didn't even really taste like Japanese mayo at all. So as far as Japanese mayo and Oreos go, I'm going to throw this one in the dumpster. Oh, there's a list. I'm making a, a list of the top three in case you didn't know. Yeah, it was a good thought. Didn't plan out. You can't win them all. And continuing with sauces, we have a sweet chili sauce. Now I know this has a little bit of sweetness, but I feel like the heat and the overall other flavors will cancel it out. Now for this one, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to go inside depending on all oh, that was a terrible that was a terrible split. Let's do that again. Put, just put that one back into the package. <laughs> Come on. Give me a good split. Yeah, there we go. That's a good split. Okay. We're just going to try to get a little bit. Just a little, just a, just a, just a little bit. This goes a long way. Oh, God, that's coming out real fast. Okay. Okay. Uh, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> There we go. I think just a little bit. This stuff goes a long way, so we'll see how it feels. A nice, yeah, sweet chili sauce. Actually, let's do that again. Ugh. Oh well. All right. This time I'm gonna put a little bit more. The last time. Oh, that was a lot more. Yep. Just put that in there. Oh gosh. Oh, okay. This one's a lot. This was this was a lot more. Alright, second time. Get a real good taste for it. It's not bad. It's not like soup like this is so good. This is crazy, but it's nice because I think the sweet. Spiciness goes along with the chocolate a little bit, the fake chocolate. That's actually, that's actually not bad. I could see someone really, really liking this. This is, this is so far, this is number one. This is taking a number one spot. I know, crazy. I did not think this would beat Japanese mayo, but maybe I'm just crazy. <laughs> Let's get a little plate clean. 
goat cheese. Oh, <coughs> something's in my throat. <coughs> oh God, I think it's the chili sauce. Yeah. Uh, uh, goat cheese. Not just any goat cheese. This is the raspberry goat cheese. Raspberry, oh no, it's not raspberry. It's blueberry. Blueberry vanilla goat cheese. One of my favorite cheeses. Again, going with a little bit of sweet of the blueberry, I think with the tart of the cheese, I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work out. And I just realized I did not bring, oh, I do have a knife. <laughs> okay, that'll do. Again, I think we're gonna go on the inside, which is making me split these, which is not great. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Jump to the other one, that's okay. All right. Oh, that actually smushed pretty nicely. Uh, blueberry vanilla goat cheese. Uh, here we go. That's amazing. I mean, it kind of had to be. It's got the sweetness and the nice flavor of the blueberry, which I'm surprised works with the Oreo. But then the vanilla tang of the goat cheese. Yes. This is good, I'm having more. Hold on, let me get another one. Oh yeah, this is clearly number one. Sorry, sweet chili, you're going to number two. Oh yeah, let me get that blueberry on there. Blueberry goat cheese is just amazing. If you've never partaken in blueberry goat cheese, I highly recommend it. Here we go. Oh yeah. It will stain your fingers though, so careful. <laughs> blueberry. Mm-hmm. We got this. This is good. I would actually do that with the goat cheese. Like maybe I wouldn't necessarily do the sweet chili unless for some, I don't know why I would want to do that, but I could, I know now that I could if I wanted to, but the goat cheese is something I would actually do. That's our number one. That's our number one right there, baby. Plate cleaning. Oh, speaking of cheese, I have another cheese here, which I don't think is gonna work as well as the goat cheese, but who knows? I have some nice cheese spread. Queso Blanco. Just your generic queso Blanco. Woo -hoo! I don't know, I'm thinking the cheesiness plus the, oh, am I gonna dip an Oreo in this? No. Ah, a spoon. Aha. And again, I think, you know what, we'll do a different, I'm gonna have to do a serious plate clean after this. Or maybe not, maybe I can just go like this. Oh, yeah, there we go, spread it out. Spread it out. That's a beautiful one right there, look at this. Queso Blanco. Yeah. It didn't taste like anything. I just tasted the Oreo. Maybe I, I guess I didn't. I guess I didn't have enough queso blanco on that, huh? You really got to get it in there. Okay, okay. If that's what you want, if this is what you want, get it in there. Really get that blanco in there. All right, here we go. It doesn't taste like anything. It's just like a weird, wet, cold. This is cold cold sensation on your tongue with an Oreo. That is weird. Is there some, I ate some of this last night and it tasted fine. No, it, ta it tastes like queso blanco, like spicy, slightly spicy queso blanco. I don't know. Weird. I guess we're, we'll make a new category in the non-offensive, just meh category. I don't, I don't know. It's definitely not a dumpster fire like the mayo. I'm very confused by this. <laughs> that is bizarre. Why it tastes like nothing? Suspicious. I don't know. Ooh, I'm excited about this next one. Chick-fil-A nuggets. Chick-fil-A nuggets. Yes, you got some fresh, kind of fresh. I think they're, they're like an hour old. I picked them up right before I started filming. So they are as fresh as they're gonna get for a show, you know what I mean? All right, uh, I guess I don't wanna eat the whole, probably not a whole nugget. We'll, we'll go half nug and we'll go try, <laughs> just sit it on top like that. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, let me get a drink first. Ah, 
Ah, let me cleanse the palate. Ugh, nothing cleanses the palate like soda. Ugh, strip oil off the driveway. <laughs> All right. Oh, the Chick-fil-A nugget. <laughs> it's not bad. It's just kind of, it's meh again. It's just very, it's very dry. Um, obviously, having a really dry cookie and, you know, a semi-breaded dry chicken. It just, it's, yeah, it's just very dry. It's, I mean, it's, again, it doesn't taste like anything. I can taste some of the chicken and I can taste the Oreo, but they, they don't taste bad, but they don't really make like a new flavor that I'm interested in. It's just meh. It's not, it's not disgusting. Like I'm not throwing it in the dumpster fire, but it's just, it's just meh. Yeah. Huh. Disappointing. I thought that would be, I don't know why I thought that would be so much better. Oh, well. And since we have Chick-fil-A here, you know I gotta. <laughs> so Chick-fil-A sauce. I think this is a dunk, a dunkaroos type situation we got here. Okay. There you go. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, get it in there. Real, real in there. Get nice and gooey. Oh, yeah. That's, that looks not great. This was not on my original list. I just thought of it since we had it here, so I don't know about this. All right, Chick-fil-A sauce. Honestly, it's not that bad. It's kind of like the sweet chili sauce where it, the flavor is new and unique, but it's not terrible. It's not necessarily super good either. It's like soup. It's like right there, right at the cusp of being good. I just thought of something. Hold on. Oh, I kicked the camera. <laughs> I have ideas. Hold on. We got to We're gonna need to move this somewhere. Oreos. We'll do two in baggy. And oh. <laughs> I don't think I can hit this on the. T I made this is a table made out of a pizza box. I don't know if I can do this on here. Actually, hold on. Let's move. Yeah, eh, eh, eh. yeah. This is working on the floor. It's really working. It's really working. Eh, 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 eh. Sorry, you can't see this. There's no camera down there. There's no floor camera. Sorry. Ain't got time for no floor cameras. Ugh, mash, 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 mash. Okay. Aha. I think you know where I'm going with this. I put this back. Okay, now we're gonna take, where did the skewer go? Skewer. We need a nice, perfect little round one. Stab it. And then we're gonna dunk it in the Chick-fil-A sauce. Get it real nice and coated. Yeah, I have a good feeling about this. I think we're doing things here. We're doing things. Shake that up. Yeah, now we gotta get that in there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Really coat it. Gotta really coat it. I want it to be covered in the Oreo goodness. Oh yeah, that is an abomination. Oh, um, the Chick-fil-A Oreo bite. <laughs> Coming to a Chick-fil-A near you. <laughs> here we go. I kind of like it. <laughs> that actually is pretty good. It kind of reminds me of that, like, I don't know if you have, I mean, if you're near where there's places to have, like, a uh, summer fair. Uh, there's the, was it the chicken sandwich donut? That's like a, the donut is the buns and the chicken sandwich. That's what that reminds me of. And it's really, it's actually pretty good. I'm not gonna say it's really good. It's just good. I like, you get the sweetness and the tanginess from the uh, Chick-fil-A sauce here, plus the chicken, and the last thing you taste is the chicken with all the flavors. It's actually good. I don't think it dethrones the goat cheese though, but it definitely takes the second place, which I did not see that coming. Regular chicken and uh, the Chick-fil-A sauce on its own, those, those go into the uh, whatever category. <laughs> not a dumpster fire. But yeah, uh, the Chick-fil-A Oreo Bites. Think about a Chick-fil-A. 
Think about it. <laughs> America. <laughs> An orange. <laughs> and I guess my thinking in this one was that there's, you know, the chocolate oranges, so Oreo and oranges, but now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like I feel like this is gonna be really wet. That's what I think. Oh, and I got a little bit of goat cheese on here, so that'll be fun. Um, I think I'm gonna go with just cutting it right down the middle. Oh yeah, I got some nice goat cheese on there. It is wet, yep. It's very wet. I'm gonna cut the rind off. Ugh. I think a good wheel will look really good here. And then I'm gonna cut around. I'm gonna cut around. Urgh. Get out of there. Get out of there. Resist, stop resisting. Stop resisting. Uh, my garbage pile. <laughs> Okay. Oh, the spoon. Ugh. Okay. That's a lot of, I don't know if I want to do that full piece of orange. Let's just, let's go halvesies on that. So it's like a quarter of a, of a wheel. I think it's going to be really wet. Smells good though. All right. The orange. I have no napkins. Oh wait, Chick-fil-A, did you give me napkins? <gasps> Chick-fil-A didn't give me napkins. There we go, that'll work. <laughs> um, it's good, the, actually the orange flavor with the Oreos actually tastes really good. It's just wet, texture wise it's just not great. Yeah, uh, the wetness and yeah, the weird crunchy or like soft squishiness of the orange just doesn't doesn't feel good in the mouth. It's got bad mouth feel, but the flavor was pretty okay. I wish the orange flavor was stronger, but that's really the only problem there. I don't think this is hot garbage. I think this goes into the, uh, and we're putting it in the meh one. Putting it in the meh category. Uh, good orange. Maybe I probably would, you know what? I'd probably like of it if it was an Oreo made with orange flavor, like an artificial orange flavor. I think that would probably taste pretty good. Oreo. <laughs> cleaning the plates, cleaning the plate. Ah, clean plate. <laughs> All right, and sticking with the fruit flavor, I did think wetness might be a problem, so I got dried mango. Now, I originally wanted dry oranges, but I just I couldn't find any, so dried mango it is. Ugh. Okay, put that, and maybe I'll break off a piece of that. There we go. Dried mango. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No. It didn't taste bad. It actually didn't taste like anything. It mainly just made the Oreo way tougher and way chewier. <laughs> That's all it did. So this goes in the dumpster fire. I recommend that all men refrain from using straws. It's unbecoming. Uh, not out of taste, but uh, just texture. It just made it, made it not, made it not fun. I don't like that. I don't care for that. Yeah, that made it hard and gross. Ugh. Oh, clean plate again. We gotta clean the plate. Clean it. Clean that plate, everybody. All right. And lastly, I'm a big spice guy. I like, I like a lot of spice. And I just so happen to have a big bag of habanero chili powder. I also have a big bag of MSG. Don't worry about it. But I think maybe, maybe a little spice, again, going with the chocolate spice angle. I think, I think this could be really good. I think we're gonna do an inside job again. Ugh. Uh, spoon. Ah. Oh God, I haven't opened this yet. Oh, why? Why would they take a tear thing that doesn't tear? You animals, why would you do this? Oh gosh. Ah, uh, okay. This is very dangerous. Oh my goodness. Very carefully. Gonna be very, oh gosh. Very careful. We're just gonna do a little. Oh, just a little, just a little bit of spice. Just a little, 
Just a, just a little flavor. Just a little do, 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 spice. That's what we're gonna do. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Don't breathe it. Don't breathe it. Close it. Ah. Okay. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I love habanero. That's one of my favorite peppers. So, let's see how this works out. Uh, habanero chili powder. It doesn't have enough, like, on its own, the habanero doesn't have enough flavor, I think, to really add anything. It definitely makes it spicy. My tongue is on fire, and I like, and the reason I like habanero versus other peppers is because it has a nice, like, it does have a nice flavor, and it leaves, like, it's not just burning your tongue or being spicy. It has, like, a, a nice, subtle flavor to it, but you don't feel it until the Oreo is completely gone. You don't you don't don't feel the spice. You don't taste any of the spice until the Oreo has been eaten. So in that regard, it doesn't really do anything to it other than adding spice, which I think spicy Oreos. I think that might be a thing. The several of the the things that I had had spice on it. I really like the I mean spice and chocolate have been going together for a while, so not too surprising. But I think I think uh, I think adding spice to Oreo, spicy Oreos, simply not a thing. I think I think you might want to play around with that Oreo. I think you might want to play around with that. <laughs> But yeah, this doesn't give, it just doesn't give enough flavor. It just adds the spice and a little bit of the habanero flavor at the very, very end, which I mean, I guess it leaves you with a good mouth feel, but if this is, this is definitely in the meh category. Definitely in the meh category. Straws are for women and little kids. Ah. Uh, well, that's all the flavors that I had for today, and I was actually surprised. I thought way more flavor combinations were gonna end up in the dumpster fire category, to be perfectly honest, but only really the mayo because of the, the weird, it just tastes like mustard, <laughs> mustard Oreos, which didn't taste good, and the texture of the mango. Everything else was pretty neutral, and I am really surprised that how well goat cheese tasted with Oreos. That is definitely the number one. The number one flavor for today is goat cheese Oreos, specifically, Blueberry, vanilla, goat cheese. That was actually really good. Uh, and the chicken thing, the surprise, I don't know if we want to go through all the trouble of smashing Oreos in a little baggie, but I got to say, if you take a Chick-fil-A chicken McNugget, coat it in the sauce, in the Chick-fil-A sauce, and then put it in a little baggie of squished Oreos, <laughs> if that ever, if you ever come across that situation, I highly recommend it. It was actually really good. I liked it. And then, of course, the surprise standout that I'm, really surprised still is in the top three was the uh, chili sauce. Chili sauce, again, I think that's sweet spicy with Oreos. I think they're really missing out. I think they really should explore that sweet spiciness. But that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Let me know if you have any Oreo combinations that are unique. Not like, oh, did you try it with marshmallow fluff? It's so good. Yeah, really? Add it again, adding sugar to sugar is good. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Some really weird flavors that are actually good. Put them down in the comment section. I'm very interested in it. But that's going to do it for me for today. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. And I hope you have a wonderful day.